Renee Roach is here and uh, looking like a sofa today. Uh, that's right. I got my little sofa shirt on. I feel like a big sofa. <laughs> it was kind of funny is that I was over at uh, the food pantry on Thursday and we did this big long yeah. interview. So maybe we could talk, try not to duplicate that too yeah, much. Yeah, not too much. You, that, you've yeah. got enough to talk about. Yeah. And one thing we did mention briefly there was the um, postal service. The postal drive. Yes. The postal drive. And that comes up. Uh, May 9th, May is it? 9th. May it's 9th. always the second. Always the second, second Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's the same day as prom this year again. Sometimes we hit and miss that, uh, but this year prom is on the same day. So all you uh, uh, parents of uh, uh, seniors or juniors going to prom, please remember to get your bag early, together early because right. you're going to be so busy. It's going to be be hectic mm -hmm. for them. Boutonniere, that's your key word. When you think boutonniere, yeah. that means you have yeah. to go out and... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Put something by that that post box, yeah, for the mailman. That is um, that is a postal drive, uh, which is a national event. Right. Yeah, so it, it's uh, countywide. Um, we're hoping that out south, the people out south remember um, to put out, because they have the rural areas is where they have the postal drive. Um, kind of is slow out in that area. Right. Um, Why don't you, just for people that have no idea what a postal drive is, explain exactly well, what it is. It is the na it is put on by the national, uh, <clears throat> it's a national event put on by the Postal Service. Um, it is their fundraiser and it is uh, a fundraiser to um, provide and, and benefit all food pantries uh, nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, so what you, we've asked all you to do past and will continue to ask is that you put non-perishable foods out by your post box on May 9th before your postman gets there. Um, try not to put breakable things such as glass, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Make sure the, the food that you're putting in is not outdated and it's uh, non-perishable and the postal workers will pick that up when they deliver your mail. Mm -hmm. uh, what they do with that then is they take it back to the post office and we uh, pick it up there. Uh, I have a team of drivers that will pick it up. We bring it back to the center. It gets weighed, uh, sorted, and shelved. So it's an all-day, um, usually goes until around, uh, I don't know, what, how, however late the post office picks up, um, and they deliver over mm -hmm. to us. We start uh, picking up deliveries um, right around 11 is when the, the first load will come in. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when our uh, actual work day begins there uh, the sorting part of it so we ask that everybody try to remember to um, put that out and support this because it has uh, decreased uh, in the years when I uh, 10 years ago we were pulling in anywhere between 10,000 to 15,000 pounds of food in, in the in this one day uh, now we're last year we pulled 3,000 look 3,100 I believe wow it was. so it's a huge drop in this so we are asking everybody to please uh, you will be getting a postcard reminder in the mail from the post office. It, usually it comes, it's just a little postcard, and it's just a reminder of the day and the time and what they ask you to do. Um, it, when you get that, it'll be the week before, sometime in that week time that you'll receive that. Get that little postcard, put it somewhere that you'll see it to remind you that um, that is the day to put, put the uh, food out. So. It's, it's a big, it's one of our bigger fundraisers because it helps us get, used to help us uh, carry from June until probably September, October, mm -hmm. in that area. It would, it would help us stretch that, but now with the, I mean, um, it doesn't last as long. It doesn't, no, maybe, maybe three weeks, four weeks, pop, pop, wow. pops with that, yeah. So, so we're, we're really asking everybody to please try and remember and uh, put out whatever you can. If it's just a couple of cans, that's fine. You know, it, it doesn't have to be a grocery bag full. Uh, I don't I don't advise you to put it out the night before. Uh, we don't want things coming up missing that, that you've put out. So put it, when you right. know when your mailman right. approximately comes, so put it out then. And no, like half gallons of ice cream or anything. Like yeah, not, none of that, yeah. <laughs> and we have had, in the past, had some issues where uh, people have uh, put in, uh, like bulk foods, uh -huh. like if you go to a bulk store. Uh, please don't do that because we have to throw it out. We cannot take, accept anything that's bulk that has been packaged by you. Uh -huh. uh, that's uh, the guidelines uh, for the um, 
government. We can't we can't accept that. We cannot accept like a pay, uh, jar. Well, I'm mean, gonna use peanut butter because that's usually the one that comes in that way. That's been opened and this anything with the seal broke or yeah. anything like that. We cannot accept any of that. And everything gets inspected as it comes through. And you look at the, the expiration. We dates look at the here. expiration dates. We look at whether the seal's been broke. We look at uh, if it's a bulk item. We also check. Um, uh, like pastas and stuff like that that come through because sometimes they will um, and that's no nobody's fault it, it happens uh, pasta gets buggy so we have to you know yeah. check all of that so it's a process when we're, we're checking these things that uh, if we get bagged items like uh, say bagged cereal we have to make sure there's no uh, slits in it or mm -hmm. anything like that so it's a process um, so we, we're very careful with that we have a good team of people who have done it for a while that that know what, what to look for. And anybody who wants to volunteer is more than welcome to come over and, and give us a hand uh, with this process. Um, volunteers are asked to come around 11 o'clock uh, and stay as long as you can. If you can only give an hour, that's fine. Uh, if you can stay all day, that's great too. So that's about the process of it. So I kind of remember it being a big deal at first. And then I don't know if there they just isn't as much, people don't know about it or what, but it's, it's like, I, I, I would find out like two hours beforehand. Somebody yeah. would mention it, and it's we, we have get heard stuff that. Out yeah, there. we have heard that the uh, you know well we didn't know about it or we, no we didn't get our or we didn't receive our card or not enough uh, publicity has been put forth or information for you. So that's why I asked to come on a couple weeks mm -hmm. prior too. That way everybody is kind of like starting to get in the gear and you know and you can even start purchasing get your bag ready now right um i know uh, my my mother used to do that she'd get it ready like the week before and she'd staple the uh, postal drive card to it so it would remind her and she'd put it right by the front door and leave it there until that day mm -hmm. and then put it out so that's a good way of doing it because it's non-perishable food so and we're asked we ask that you try not to put glass uh like uh, jars of um spaghetti sauce, spaghetti sauce. i mean We've only had a couple of times that they break, but it's just a safety issue. Right. And it's easier for the post, uh, postal workers because that is a big job for them. After all, they're delivering I was, mail. And, yeah, I was thinking yeah. that that and, must not be a day that they look forward to. Yeah, actually. Until they, they look forward to it, it's yeah. most helping people. They but. really enjoy it. Um, I, I, because I mean, but it's it's a lot of work on those carriers. I mean, let's face it, they're carrying the mail. Right. And then they're picking up and they're and they're loading and bringing it back and unloading it and it's it's. It's, it's a long day, it mm -hmm. really is. When we used to get 10,000 pounds of food or more, um, we would start our day, um, we'd, be, we'd go early to set the, the hall up because we have stations for different, you know, this is the corn station. That way when we get done checking all the items, we put them in grocery carts and we have people who go out and put them in the right areas mm -hmm. so that we have, when we go to repack that stuff to shelve it, we don't have to sort through it again. It's already sorted, this is all corn, just get it in the flatbed boxes, and we'll get them. You know, so it's a it's kind of a process. Um, Was this a learning process, like the from yeah. the first year you did it? To yeah, now? <laughs> it really, really it it. The first year was like overwhelming because we, like I said, we got so much food at that time. Well, it was just a, a new oh, thing and big publicity. Yeah, at all. I had no idea what I was in for, and it was just really. Uh, oh, it was a long long weekend, and it it darn near killed me because I, I wasn't expecting all of that. Uh, now we have it to a process, you know, we have really down to a really good science to how we, we unload it and package it and all that stuff. That part is going very well. It's just that now the the uh, poundage is declining. Uh -huh. So we need to get that poundage back up. So uh, your food pantry includes not just Connie, but like Kingsville, North Kingsville, uh -huh. Monroe, Sheffield, Sheffield, Pierpont, Pierpont some parts some, of Andover. So like, do you get stuff from like the North Kingsville we post don't get it, Kingsville um, post office or? we get wherever our carriers go so I'm not sure uh, no I do well, I don't believe North they King, deliver in Kingsville I don't well, they do it they I think they do in, I don't know about they don't in North Kingsville you have to go to the okay. post office but I think Kingsville does okay and any of those people that that's a that is an issue that's been brought up and I've never got a response back as to how that's handled from the post office but anybody can, if you want to donate to the post, say you don't have a carrier, mm -hmm. that draw, uh, you have to go to a post office box, you can bring that food into the center uh, anytime from now until... You're talking about the kind of human resource center. Kind of human yeah. resource center and just tell, uh, mark on it, postal drive. That way that poundage will be weighed. 
that food will be weighed and the poundage goes under the postal drive. Um, can they do that today? They can do that I'm today. I'm going to be gone mm -hmm. on that Saturday oh, yes. if I want to. Yes, and if you're, like I said, even the parents who have prom goers this year, uh, and it's on the same day, if you want to bring that in uh, the week before, uh, even the week after, we hold, we continue the poundage for one week after. Oh, okay. So you have yeah. from now until the week after um, the postal drive to bring that in. Just make sure it's marked. Uh, we have some people who would prefer to write a check. Please don't don't throw that in a in a bag um, and, and give it to us. Uh, bring it in, mail it to us. Just mark in the in the bottom on the memo postal drive. That way we'll know that that money was part of that fundraiser, and that all gets reported back to the postmaster here, and they report it. I'm, I'm assuming to their corporate. So all that mm -hmm. goes under that particular fundraiser, so that we have to keep it all separate. So if you if you they had a bag of canned goods, but you didn't think it was quite enough. You wanted to throw in another ten dollars. Don't put in. A, don't put a check in with the cans. Stuff. If you do and you're dropping it off, please make sure they know it's in there. Okay, but not, don't put it in your mailbox. Uh, not in your mailbox or anything. I, I, we have had it come in. Uh, people <clears throat> will put in two or three uh, canned items and put an envelope in there. And um, the one time we almost threw one away, and luckily one of our workers caught it. So now we're very careful. We check all the bags, but just for the fact that it could get lost or accidentally thrown out, and I don't want that to happen. Right. Please make sure it comes directly to the center. Uh, it's just a safety precaution. Um, mail it, if you if you can't get right. in, just put put it and mail it to Connie Human Resource Center in care of Renee Roach, uh, Connie at Food Pantry, and it'll get to where it's supposed to go. And if you write a check uh, for it, just put, don't put Connie at Postal Drive on the, on the um, line item, put Connie at Food Pantry and Postal Drive in the memo. Right. That way. So you're going to address it to Connie at Food right, Pantry. Right, right, correct. Address it to them. Because that way I don't have to take it over to uh, the post office and have them, it, it, it just, oh, yeah. you know, have them sign it off and, and it goes back to us. It, it just eliminates that middle right. part portion. So, but it's a, it's a very important fundraiser. It's a very um, easy fundraiser for someone to participate in because it's not something you have to, you know, it, it's you go into the grocery store today, pick up a few items extra, and throw them in a bag, and you're ready to go. It's you know, it's a no-brainer. So, so we're hoping this year. To, I'm hoping to hit at least five thousand. I would like to get. What was it this past year? Thirty-one hundred. So <clears throat> if we can up it to five thousand or more, I would be real happy. Yeah. yeah, we were talking, and while the need is constant or greater, some of the the fundraisers yeah. are are. Not as not nearly what they used to no, be. No, no. I, I think, and like we talked, mm -hmm. I think a lot of that is everybody is doing fundraisers because funding has been cut. Um, um, grants are very difficult to receive now. Um, they're being, <clears throat> being very picky because there's the money's just not going as far. So because of those issues, we've had to come up with our own fundraisers. Uh, not just myself, mm -hmm. but many other organizations. Sure. So everybody out there are, is being asked by everyone to support everything. And it's difficult to pick and choose and to uh, to spread that dollar. So that I think that's part of it. Um, the other part is other people are just watching their pennies, I think, too. You know, well, Some of it is, a, some of the groceries. I don't go to, the, I, I don't, in my mind it's set in when we first got married, we go to the grocery store. Uh -huh. And that then you go now and it's like, Whoa, how could that yeah. be $4.50? Exactly. Well, look oh at a gallon gosh. of milk. A gallon of milk. I mean, let's say you have a family <clears> of five. <throat> how far does a gallon of milk go? You figure, you know... They, it's not 79 cents a gallon no, anymore. <laughs> no, no. I mean, and you've got, you know, five, three to five children. They have cereal in the morning. They have, a di they have lunch at school, of course, but then they have dinner at home. Uh, how are you cook with milk? I mean, there's a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, you think of all of that, it, it, and it's at what three eighty nine a gallon. Um, that, that, that's a hardship for people. Produce is ridiculous. That's why we push the produce program um, because produce is so high for people to eat to purchase healthy right. food. It's it's very difficult. Right. Um, so utilize our produce to people program that's held every first Monday of the month. Right next um, Monday. Yeah, uh, we get fresh produce. Uh, uh, fresh fruit. Um, sometimes they even throw in some other items. Like last last produce uh, giveaway, we had yogurt. Uh, they, we sometimes we get bread items, uh, bakery items. So I mean, it's uh, I never know what they're sending us, but it's always pretty pretty nice stuff. Watermelons, uh, mm. uh, 
potatoes, onions, cabbage, uh, lettuce, carrots, yams, we, we receive all of that. And that's a huge expense on your uh, grocery bill when you're going to the grocery store trying to sure. eat healthy. So, and a lot of people who are diabetic, you should be really staying away from like a lot of the canned items because of um, the yeah, preservatives and additives. Right. Um, utilize that. You can come, eat, you know, and a lot, I had one woman say, well, you know, I, I have that at home. Take it and freeze it. You know, take the green beans prep them and freeze them because just because you have them at home this week doesn't mean you're going to have the money right. next week to, to have it. So utilize these programs. That's what they're for. Um, we give out recipes for a lot of the, the stuff that, oh. you know, like if we get <clears throat> kale or Swiss char or turnips or rutabagas and that type of stuff that people, you know, you know what they are, but you're not sure how to cook with them or what to do with them. We get online, we print out recipes for people to try. You know, I always tell people, you don't have to like it, just try it. Sure. You never know if you'll like it unless you try it. So, and I've had a lot of good response with that. I've had a lot of people, I could, didn't realize that you could do that with Swiss char or, or kale. And uh, so it, it's, um, it's been a real positive, positive program. So utilize it, it's, it's there. And you don't have a specific, um you know, money-wise, as, as far as your produce. income for the yeah, produce? Yeah, the, the produce comes in, um, when you come to the produce program, you are asked to fill out what's called an intake um, information sheet. Each time? Each time. Uh, and that is, and that, the reason for that, because a lot of people say, well, I did this last month, you should have this information. Well, some of the information changes. Uh, you may not have the same phone number this month as you had last month. You may not have, uh, maybe grandpa's not living with you anymore, maybe he was you know, able to get back on his own, or you maybe your kids are off to college. <clears throat> so your d demographics, as far as the size of your family, changes, mm -hmm. and we have to keep all that information for government. The government asks us to do that. Maybe your address changes. Um, maybe we are going to get a recall because maybe something yeah. came in that uh, is being recalled by the company, and I have to contact all those people that came through that line. And if I don't have the correct information to do that somebody is at risk of uh, not getting reached uh, on a very important matter. So these are the reasons we do these things. Um, if you can't make it to the produce program, because I have a lot of people who ask this, well, I just can't make it. Uh, I work that day. You can send somebody in your place. Mm -hmm. The only thing that person has to do is have all the proper information of, of yours to fill that out at the top. They need to know your full name, your address, your phone number, and the the um, ages of everyone in the family right. and you sign your name so we know who's taking that food for you mm -hmm. so you can send someone if you can if you have a caseworker uh, a lot of people have case managers case aides that w they they can come for their clients they can call me and say you know I have a client I'm going to be coming for her so or him whatever um, we we try our best to to work with everybody and, and all the needs out there because there's a lot of different needs mm -hmm. so um, <laughs> But people don't really understand why you have to do this every month, the same thing. Why do I have to stand in line and give you the same information? It's for your protection, and it's it's mandated by the program guidelines that I do that. I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's, you know. Well, I've, I've gone to supermarkets and then had gotten a recorded message. I, I remember we got bagels at Wegmans once, and mm -hmm. I get a phone call, you purchased bagels. Wow, they know that yeah. on a certain day, on and, a certain day. and that at, at certain factories that they may have used this or whatever and, mm -hmm. and the ingredients, and if so. And it's, it's an important, you know, because it is a, it doesn't happen. I think this only happened in, in the produce program. It's happened one time, not at my site, at some another site, where they had to recall, I think it was cottage cheese. Uh, this was like four or five years ago. Huh. Um, so I know it can happen, and so we just have to be prepared for things like that. It's like anything, you know, you have to, you know, my job is to, you know, to provide as much as I can for the, uh, the, the public, but the public has to understand that I have to also be aware of what's going on with what's coming through that mm -hmm. door to, to keep you safe right. to the best of my ability. So it's, it's, a, it's an undertaking, and, and that information just helps us do our job a lot faster and a lot more efficiently so that's why we do that so we have the Mary's kitchen we have the soup kitchen right, that was um, this past Saturday this past Saturday that's a program that is uh, a wonderful program it is a free uh, homemade hot lunch to anybody who wants to come and if you are a homebound person 
uh, meaning that you are a senior citizen that cannot get there for whatever reasons or you are a person who are, is disabled and needs a, a hot lunch delivered to you, uh, just give me a call and we'll get all the information and we, we do have home deliveries. Mm. Um, it's a great program, so utilize that, bring your family, and it's great socially. Sure, you know, you, you just, that's a big part of it. Yeah, a big part of it is just being able to uh, to sit around and talk and, and really get to know uh, the people in, in your town. And, and I've learned so much um, just by that program because uh, it's a very relaxing day. Mm -hmm. um, people enjoy sitting around, having conversations, talking about what they did over the weekend or over the week, what they have coming up, and it's just a nice... A nice day so um and that's held every last saturday of the month right um so so it's a it's a it's a real nice um nice program so utilize these things that we have